Every year, the golf-obsessed nation of Korea gets to welcome the best players in the LPGA to the KEB Hunabank Championship. 2018 is no exception, and we have seen a brilliant week so far. As we continue our race to the CME Globe, getting closer to the end of the season, and what we've seen so far this week has been a spectacular contest around a brilliant golf course, and some of the biggest names in the game are up there to get their name on this prestigious trophy. It is a day that promises so much they will be here in their tens of thousands for the final round of the LPGA KEB Hunabank Championship. Let's go. As we've seen, we couldn't really have picked a better leaderboard going into Sunday. A big welcome, everybody, from Peter Donegan to our final round coverage from Sky 72 Golf Club in Incheon in South Korea. Final round of the LPGA KEV Hunterbank Championship. And the weather has come to the party and the crowds have flocked in. They don't appear to be in that part of the golf course, but I can tell you they are everywhere today to see who is going to collect the winner's check for $300,000. Sandy McKenzie and Karen Stapples with me in the box. Sandy, this tournament never disappoints, but this year, I think in prospect, we've got one of the great final rounds that we've seen here. We certainly have, Pete. From the word go on Thursday, this has been nothing short of exciting the whole way through. Been a lot of fun, spectacular golf. Cool conditions on Thursday, but the sun is shining today and we expect just an outstanding Sunday. And by the look of it, we're going to have a new winner, Karen Stapples, and uh, this contest has just been getting better as the week goes on. You've got the world number one, the world number two, you've got Koreans, you've got players from all over the world. This is just brilliant. And this is just a really, really good slice of what the LPGA Tour brings to the table week in and week out. You've got great golf being played, you've got something for everybody if you're a fan watching from everywhere across the globe. And quite frankly, it's just exciting. And this golf course, it makes that, brings that out even more, the excitement factor. There are birdies, there are bogeys, and Sandy, this setup really does do well for them. Yeah, it's a fantastic golf course that way. And the thing I love about this golf course is every hole is different and ev every one of them is intriguing. So many things, twists and turns can happen. And the way the weather has been, the greens are just getting a little firmer. They're quickening up a little bit. It's going to make for an intriguing competition throughout the afternoon. I hope you can stay with us around this wonderful layout, which has been so challenging. There's the weather. Couldn't be better. The best day that we've had so far. 16 degrees Celsius, beautiful sunny day, hardly a cloud in the sky just a gentle zephyr of a breeze and the scoring came to the party yesterday because the breeze was down so you're going to have to make a lot of birdies to get the job done today up amongst those players who are in contention what a day in prospect we have with some of the very best players in the world and we'll be keeping an eye on them every step of the way as we look through one of our first features group, Atahara Munoz finding form again after recovering from il illness. Nasa was the first round leader, hasn't been able to continue that form. And Ji Hoon Kim, she's a local girl, she's from Incheon, so expect some local knowledge and some fans from her. What a group this is. Brooke Henderson, the Canadian two-time winner this year. She was outstanding yesterday, really made a move through the field. Jong Min Cho, three-time winner on the Korean tour. And of course, Lexi Thompson, very capable of tearing any golf course apart. And if you want to talk about informed players, no one is more informed than Sung Wung Bae. Won the tournament on the KLPGA Tour last week. Sun Hyun Park, world number one and fan favourite. And Sandra Gale starting to find some of the form that we saw her win in 2011 with. Well, let's take a look at another Korean fan favourite. And didn't she play well yesterday? In Ji Chun playing alongside the very consistent, very strong Minji Lee. And Lydia Ko, the former world number one, right in the mix.
And a tantalizing competitive final group here, Charlie Hull. She's been very comfortable in front of these big crowds this week, looks in complete control of her game. Danielle Can also feeling very at home, feisty competitor, major champion. And Aria Jutanagan leads in the most statistical categories I've ever seen on the LPGA Tour. Said birdies are going to be so important today, and it's important to get them on the card early because if you don't, then you might find yourself a long way from the people who are doing that. Outside chance of a birdie for the world number one. She may not be world number one come the end of this day. Sung Hyun Park, this is at the fourth. Oh, I can only think about the noise that the galleries are going to be making around her today. Well, I, th I think the unlike last year the galleries were primarily situated around that final group when he had both fan favorites playing together in Inji Chan and Sun Hyun Park now the two are separated I expect to hear cheers all across the board all day long and the other thing that we'll get is the last group which doesn't contain a Korean player contains three very popular players so there are certainly going to be some fans with that group as well Sandy they're going to have everybody covered speaking of one of those Charlie Hull the leaderboard at the moment with Erich and Tanagan. She's played so impressively this week, Charlie. Just a safe shot there. It's a very big green. A long and, way from the flag. And it's a scary hole location. There's nothing around it. There's no room right, no room left. And even though they've moved the, the tee up, it's just one of those holes that par is still going to be good. Danielle Kang did such a brilliant job yesterday. She said she's been really enjoying it, focused on her caddy. Ollie for a lot of the day yesterday and she said it was so important to what she was able to do and she's come up with a good one but for a birdie for Danielle has started with two pars so there has been a fair bit going on let's have a look at what has happened earlier today we mentioned the need for early birdies Here's area at the first to get things going from the word go. Rolls one in from around about 15 feet, and perhaps that's the sign of things to come. Onto the second hole. And Inji birdied the first as well and follows it up with one on the second. So one of the very much proud favourites is making an early move in this final round. Also on the second hole, Eri Jutanagan. And this whole location is in a little bowl on the left side of the green, making it more appealing. That was almost appealing for an eagle, but a tap in. And that's what we've seen Eria do a lot of this week. Her ball striking has been really very good. She's had lots of opportunities. So what could Charlie Hull do in response? She could do that, roll in a birdie at the second and maintain her position up at the top of the leaderboard. Taking a look at the par three, Sung Hyung Park. Oh, she may you know, make a move today. She's just the pressure's off not being in the last group. Plays a great shot in there. And was to convert that here to a birdie. Nice comfortable start, picking up one in the early stages. We will expect some birdies out of her today. So all of that means that the leaderboard has changed somewhat. And what it means is that we have joint leaders in area Jutanagan and Charlie Hull. Thailand and England at the top at lucky 13 under. Danielle Kang is where she was at the start of the day at 12 under. Inji has picked up a couple to move to 12 under. Minji Lee has made a birdie a bogey start and is 10 under par. And Sung Hyun Park finds herself three back from the lead, but still within distance, as are Lydia Ko and Sandra Gall. This is going to be something special. Don't go anywhere. Hope you can stay with us for our final round coverage from Korea. Long range birdie part here at the third for Charlie Hull. Massive green this green on the third. 42 paces long. So these players just playing to the center. This very narrow part of the green at the back. Now settle down. This is what happens on these greens. You get a slight bit too much pace on them. They tend to just keep rolling. You end up with a very awkward one coming back. 
And she was asked a couple of days ago in a press conference what has held her back from winning more often. And she said it's really finishing off the putts. And she's going to test herself straight out the blocks with, with one right there for par. They've moved the tee up here at three today, so much so. The pin is actually 37 paces on, which means that they've got 97 to the front of the green in the official measurements. The green's sitting at an oblique angle, as it often does on Jack Nicholas designed golf courses. Area from long range. Putter's working. Oh, I think the signs are ominous for the rest of the field early on. She might have them all shaking in their boots, Pete. She has been quite spectacular with her irons, and she's been the one player who has got the ball closer to the pin and given herself so many really short opportunities for birdie where other players have struggled to get it close. These greens are so difficult. If you can get that putter rolling today, it's interesting watching area. We've seen a little shift in her intensity factor. She, um, as Danielle Kang, and nothing would, it wouldn't put me past Danielle to make this. She's, she loves this kind of battle that she's going to be facing with area. Danielle Kang just sliding her birdie putt by here at the third area from long range, nearly hold hers. So no real ground being made by our big three at this stage on a hole which measures just 134 yards. But everywhere you look, there are players who are in contention today. And here's one of them, Inji Chun, who's made a birdie at the first, birdie at the second, gets herself up to 12 under. And she is only one back from the lead. Nice shot again, leaves it below the flag. I think Inji's one that will enjoy not being in the final group. Just sitting back a little bit. She's got a massive fan base. There's going to be so many people out here today, and a lot of them will be trying to see Inji Chun. Testing length. Five or six feet for par for Charlie. Karen, we mentioned yesterday how comfortable she looked in a very hot kitchen yesterday with the world number one and the world number two for company. She was really impressive. Well, and she really enjoyed the atmosphere that was that was out there. She enjoyed playing in front of the large galleries, and I think she, it really raised her game. But she was she took her time over all the shots, and she she did look focused. Tap in par for Danielle Kang remains at minus 12. I think this is going to be a day today, Pete, where we're just going to see loads of people going for birdies, loads of red figures. But if you are dropping shots today, it'll be like dropping two. A couple of those ones early who have dropped shots, Minji Lee and Lydia Cole, both dropped one. Why don't we check out the fourth hole? It's just as uh, short as par fours go at 332 yards. Yeah, well, the one thing you've got to be careful here is that little bunker right in the centre. So you'll find a lot of players will play up short of that bunker because it's still only a shot of 100 to the front. Pin is on 33 today, so it's a fair way back. Of course, you can see the trouble on the left. There are those short bunkers on the right, but there's enough room there, but you must avoid the little one in the centre. And not many people will be going for that landing zone because there is absolutely no need. And then once they move up, the pin is up in that uh, top left corner of the green. So just, just play it safe off the tee. Now you see where you move into, you know, this characteristic of, of most of the greens on this golf course. This one sitting front right goes across, you know, nearly straight across into that back left. And uh, so you've got to carry it all the way. Although it says it's 33 on, you need probably, you know, you had about 23, because you need to clear that bunker as well. But it does sit back there in its own plateau. But uh, safe off the tee is the go. Overall this week, it's been the fifth easiest hole. Easiest hole, statistically anyway, has been the short par four, 15th. Minji Lee, puppy start. One of everything so far. It's been a bit of a pizza round. One with the lot. She's had a birdie, a bogey, and a par. And really to see her at 10 under par is a testament to her staying power. Ooh. Oh boy, that's gone off in her hand. Yeah, that was. Uh, that would have uh, caused my dad 
to use a bit of bad language if that was me when he was watching me. <laughs> I think Minji might be using some of her yeah. own. Well, that was really something, wasn't it? As we go back down the tee on four. Down by the looks, Charlie just uh, she's got a little rescue, a little hybrid in her hand. Just to keep it short of that bunker. 228 to get to that bunker. And, uh, a little bit of a distraction here. There will be a reasonable amount of noise around these players today, just there. Oh, there's so many people here today. We had 33,000 on the Sunday last year. And didn't we notice a lot when we drove in today? There was a traffic jam on the main road leading in here for people to, to go into the, the car park. And I don't think in all the years I've been coming here I've seen that. That's a bad mistake for Charlie to miss this. I miss a very wide fairway with a hybrid. And I think that little distraction kind of threw her off her routine just a, a little bit. I dare say the players would have looked at the order of play and, and their likely playing companions at the end of the day yesterday. And with all due respect to the Korean players, all three of these players would have been happy that Inji and Sung Hyun probably weren't in their group for the reasons that we're talking about. And the obsessive nature the fans have got with their Korean players. Danielle, earning the plaudits of the crowd. The flip side to that is, is that they are the final group and you can almost feel like an afterthought. And uh, there are, there's always a little bit of ego that comes into play uh, with players at the top level. And that might feel a bit awkward. Lydia Ko, Bertie Putt, she needs it. She dropped one on the previous hole, the par three. Not going to make it there. You just don't want to be going backwards in these early stages because she's really going to put herself out of contention fairly quickly unless she can pick up some birdies. Well, it's a bit contagious there because Lydia's knocked that five feet past as well. So both she and Minji fooled or have hit the, the wrong strength of part, probably a combination of both. Second shot at the par five, fifth for the world number one. And um, flag is front right today, just over a false flank, very accessible. And I think that's an easier spot to leave it than going past that flag and having to negotiate all the different tiers. She's already chipped in once this week. That's not a bad spot to have another go. Just the one birdie for Sung Hyun Park so far, and that came at the third. I wonder what Inji has learned about what she's seen of the putting so far. That this one's quick? That was almost guaranteed that was going to be short <laughs> after what she saw. After watching her playing partners, goodness gracious. A rush of blood or just ridiculously aggressive. She said she learned so much from the experience of last week at the UL International Crown. We're representing a country. She was so nervous, but she learned to control it. And that is going to stand her in good stead today. She looks relaxed. Well, and, and I think a lot of players that have that, that kind of experience where you're standing on the greens and your hands are shaking and you're still able to make putts, that can really grow a player in, in understanding where they stand within the game and, and how good they really are. I think Jin Young Ko's hands must be shaking. What about that for a scorecard? Four birdies so far. And she is four under par through seven holes. She'd need a miracle, but what a great round she's got going. Well, there's a lot to play for today. You can certainly work your way up that money list. Minji, oh, well, very poor first putt from Minji, putting it that far past, and it wasn't that long a putt. So that will be disappointing, and Minji now has gone birdie, bogey, par, bogey. Mixed bag, to say the least. I'm a great believer in body language. What about the contrasting body language from Minji there after that putt compared to Inji and what she was able to do? Well, Minji has, I mean, it's been such a tough struggle for her. Ball striking really hasn't been top notch. She's been fighting for pars. Whereas Inji has been slowly getting better as the week's gone on. Awkward length for par for the former world number one. <laughs> Little side door, but good enough.
just having her name on the leaderboard is going to have a few, no matter how highly credentialed they are, looking over their shoulders. Speaking of shoulders, Lydia just having a little feel. Oh, oh we've got some visitors today. Oh, there's so many people out in this golf course today, nowhere to go. He's racing to get a glimpse of uh, Sunken Park's <laughs> Eagle Chip. Let's hope the pace of play is that quick today. I'd like to think so, wouldn't you? But maybe not. Eri Jatanagan on this short fourth hole. She's laid up just beautifully in the centre of the fairway. Pin is that back tier, 33 paces on. These were the shots she has played so well and put so many of them so close. Oh, didn't get any check on that one. Just a little downslope there oh. that seems like everybody, which is why the putts have been releasing, that, that shot released. Really difficult shot for Charlie, just long range bunker shot. And this green does tend to run away, so. And I think that's what she was expecting it to do. Yeah. And we've seen how quick this putt is now, so she might struggle to make par. The other two were hoping for some check and didn't get it. Mm -hmm. She was hoping for some run and didn't get it. Well, as you said, she really made a bit of a mess off the tee, just going with the hybrid and missing this fairway into thick rough. It's just not the Korean girls who have support here. And Aria said how thrilled she was to see that out there. She didn't expect it. So, uh, very enthusiastic golfing nation, Korea. As we look at Aria now, you know, I've noticed, particularly this week, there is an, that intensity shift. I think it's due to the fact that she's realizing, finally, just how good she is. And she's not content with just hitting average shots anymore. She went to work on her swing on the range afterwards. And yet, we think she was hitting the ball as good as anybody we saw yesterday. So she knows there's more in the tank. This club's solid for her most weeks. And it's not overstating things to say that she could be gapping the field if her putter had been working so far. But then again, There'd be plenty of other players out there who feel as though they'd left a few out there as well. So we are where we are. Let's see what happens. Here's Sandra Gale, who's had a really good week. She's got a birdie opportunity to get to within three of the lead. This at the par five fifth. She's been showing signs this year of playing some good golf. She's probably going to need to make an impression early. When you look at her stats for the week, she's made most of her score on the front nine. She's minus six for the front nine, just minus two for the back nine. And the finishing stretch of holes, she hasn't played that well. So it needs to happen early for Sandra. Daniel Kang for birdie on the fourth hole. Now, the pace of this seems to be confusing. Most players we've seen come through here. It just seems it can see them running a lot quicker and they're just not getting it right. Let's see what Danielle does for birdie. Oh. It's a good try. Jin Young Ko. This always hard eighth hole. Hole location, kind of middle left today. And this is a birdie opportunity today for players with that hole location right where it is. That's where a lot of players typically will end up from their tee shots. And I think in, in a way the LPGA have set this golf course up for holes to be attacked to be taken advantage of and for some tough ones too and this is what we've seen throughout the course of this week it can it can really catch up with you in a hurry if you don't pay attention to certain holes and, and certain locations if you don't play them smart 
So then for an unlikely par, after making a bit of a mess of this fourth hold, Charlie Hull, if she doesn't hold it, Area has the lead by herself. Once she was errand off the tee, especially after her second shot, par would have been the very best she could have hoped for. Charlie drops out of the lead then, an early moment of self-examination for the young woman from England, the 22-year-old. And this is a bit of a contrast to how she's started off the last few days. She's always got off really quickly, uh, made some great shots, and then sort of slowed down in the middle of her round. So this will be the challenge for her. Chance for Sun Hyun Park to get it to minus 11. Just three, uh, two behind Eri Jatanaga. We know how capable she is of making a lot of birdies. Two under today through the first five holes. We spoke yesterday about eight and in particular second shot at nine for her and she talked about that after a round and said that was where it all really fell apart for her for a moment. Mm -hmm. So then this putt to remain the outright leader. Area oh. Jutanaga a mile in front of everybody on the money list so far in 2018. She's not a mile in front here, but she is in front. And we'll talk about the permutations that may happen about the world number one ranking throughout the day, but there's a very good chance that Area can get it. If she wins, she has it. Just cleaning up here for Danielle Kang. with Charlie Hull and NG Chun just one behind area at the moment in these early stages. Second shot on five for Minji Lee. We've seen it's quite accessible to get to. Really bunkers are not a problem around the green. That was uh, a conservative shot, relying on her short game. Well, let's see what Jin Young Ko can do at the eighth from pretty long range. But she's on the birdie train, no question about that. Just for a moment, she has to wait on the platform, but this has been a spectacular start from the defending champion spoken a few times throughout the week about the demands that would be on her time being the defending champion but if you can finish top 10 with everything else that's going on around you and the pressures of playing in front of your home crowd then that's an admirable performance and she's got herself up into that top 10 with that star the official source for live scores, stats, and news. But it's more than that. It's player access you can't get anywhere else. Amy Rogers, LPGA.com, here with Aria Jatana Garner. With Brooke Henry. It's player stories you won't hear anywhere else. So I felt like I was in the zone. It seemed so easy. It's special features you won't see anywhere else. Where else but LPGA.com. Now, just a moment ago, at the eighth hole, <coughs> Amy Olsen and the young Korean in jong Un Lee playing in this group at eight. What a tee shot that was. Yeah, nothing more than a tap in for Birdie, hopefully, despite the presence of the shadow. Nicely. That's back-to-back -back birdies for her. She's picked up three today. 
and has got it to minus five, so she's in line for a good check. It's difficult sixth hole, causing the players fits with this tee shot. It's a dog leg to the right. Most players hit a hit a draw, so that's what's the challenge. Sun Hyun just position with her three wood, and where this hole is located with her ball strike, and she has a good opportunity. Look at those crowds. In excess, way in excess of 30,000 people here last year on the final day, and I think we're heading in a similar direction today. And the weather's just perfect. It's stunning, isn't it? We had such a uh, clear but cold, windy day on uh, Thursday, and everybody's wrapped up in big duna jackets and uh, since then the sun's been out it's just been up in the high teens beautiful blue skies and, and the wind of course has dropped so we've had three really good days for scoring great days for the spectators to come out here and watch and, uh, it's been really something but and i think today's the nicest day it's just temperatures up another degree or two around about the 18 degrees today beautiful day beautiful comfortable day for the players to be playing Plenty of the gallery will be with that group because not only do they have Sung Hyun Park in that group, but Sun Woo Bae, the 24-year-old, who's developing a following. She's performed well at this tournament before. Finished in a tie for seventh here in 2016, did Sun Woo Bae. So area with the lead by herself at the moment, but the challenges are assembling to make the challenge behind her career. The United States, England, New Zealand, Australia, Germany. They don't come much more international than that on the leaderboard in the final round of the LPGA KEV Hunter Bank Championship. It's been a long wait. Now back on the tee here. It's about the fifth for area to Tanagan. Need about. 335 oh, sorry 235 to clear those bunkers you can see she's just aiming directly over the top this is just with the three wood hardly a breath of breeze out there they've been there for a good three or four minutes at least and that slight change in wind direction is is what's given the players a little bit more to think about and, and in previous days carrying those bunkers really wasn't a big deal for for a lot of them and i think that's why we're seeing a slight backup players then having to lay up as opposed to going for the green I'm guessing there's probably a few that got caught up in those bunkers today as well Danielle pulling out the driver Danielle made her birdie here on Thursday and Friday. Areas made birdie at this hole the last two days. Charlie Hull has only made one birdie here so far this week, and that was on Thursday in those difficult conditions. See Daniel playing so well this week. She missed six cuts at the last eight events. Fifth hole, Daniel Kang is elected to take driver to try and clear those bunkers. Looming large in her sights. Area just got three wood over the top of them. was always going to be a stretch in light of what you saw with area shot as Karen mentioned slightly different wind direction mm -hmm. here today and it's having its effect this whole location on the sixth is on the right at the quite at the back but it's appealing because you can use the slope in the middle of the green and left of this flag to get it close and that's going to stay on the high side Great for distance, though. I guess the difference if that was sort of over another three yards where it would have caught that ridge running through right down there near the flag. And we've watched this swing 
so many times now. She loads nicely on her back, but it's the real strength and power comes from how quickly she clears her hips. Back on the tee with Charlie Hull with the driver in hand. Looking to play, play it just a little more right than Danielle did. Again, just sneaks onto the fairway. But that's okay. That red dot that we saw near Aria's ball is 248 off the tee. So you can see the difference of wind direction and how it's impacting on the length the players are getting off the tee. Meantime, up ahead on the same hole, Lydia Ko playing her fourth shot here at the fifth. Mm, this is probably one of the reasons why that group had quite a wait. Lydia yeah. was fluffing around a bit somewhere down there. Oh. She's given herself some hope of making an unlikely par after difficulties at five. That would be a good save, a really good save. Still one over the card for today for Lydia. Now, Inji Chun, different story for Inji. She's two under. She birdied one and two. Played some really good golf. And taking into account, she took a double bogey on Thursday. Great shot, too. And had a double bogey on Friday as well. And still at minus 12. So many roars going up from different parts of the golf course. Minji needing to get something going. It wasn't the start that she wanted. Chance to stop the bleeding a little bit. She does have the one birdie on her card. That was at the very first hole, but unfortunately there have been a couple of buggies since then. And she just looks a little out of sorts reading her body language. Jin Young Ko making a nice little move today. She's at minus seven, defending champion. And I think her performance is something to be proud of. It's not easy to come in and defend. What a battle that was 12 months ago. That was something on the final day. Jin Young Ko, Sung Yun Park, Inji Chun. Certainly was. It was very exciting as, as we've become quite used to, Pete, with this event. It always seems to come down to the wire. This is Minji's birdie putt on five. Now this just to get it back to even for today. Get her back into double figures. I know it's only early in the final round, but it might be an opportune time to tell you the playoff holes. <laughs> okay, because we expect, we usually expect it. <laughs> Given the history of <laughs> this place, that where there have been a few playoffs, and we'll detail those for you a little bit later on, but it'll be 18, 18, 18. If they can't break the deadlock, they'll go to 17, then back to 18, and repeat if necessary. And then it'll be dark. Just a tap in birdie for Ji Hyun Kim. So she's got three of those on her card today. Bogey came at the sixth, which has been amongst the hardest holes on the golf course. In fact, it's been the overall the second hardest hole for the totality of the week. Back to five. And we saw Lydia struggle with her putting coming down the stretch yesterday. Uh, she missed a number of putts from that sort of six foot range. And uh, I think even she found it a little frustrating. Her stroke gets a little hitty at impact. If she can keep this smooth, she makes them. It nearly looks like a bit of a um, shorter backswing she's got going Karen that's just you are used to seeing her just very very smooth with her putting that's something I'm sure she's working on Inji knew 
that on the back of her inward nine of 31 yesterday that she'd given herself a real chance, but she also must have had in the back of her mind, well, if I'm going to get this done, I'm going to need to get a couple of birdies on the card early. Well, she did that all right. Birdie one, birdie two. This to join the lead at the fifth. Wasn't quite the company that we saw running across the green before, <laughs> but still annoying. Made an excursion from that insect hotel. Little bug. Well, check out times 11 o'clock. <laughs> she didn't quite have the same routine second time round as she did first time. <laughs> didn't seem to matter. Three birdies in five holes. One of the local stars, Inji Chun, joins the lead. And that was very bold too. Really nice, Man firm, no. aggressive putt. Confident putt. She finished second here in 2014 and tied for second, third in 2017. That's an untidy bogey. Players hate walking off par fives with a six on their card. Just shows Pete too how it turns around. I mean, you, they've gone through five holes. There's now five shots between Inji and Lydia Ko. Shot plane, uphill. But easy within reach, I think, for Charlie. Starting us out to the right, drawing it back to the hole. And not a bad leave. Gives herself a very good chance of picking up the shot she dropped at the previous hole. Daniel Kang just only got it over the bunkers. He's found the rough. Is obviously good enough where she's got rescue of some sort in her hands. Like a, like a three wood. Mm. Surely it couldn't be that good. Second shot. Yeah. That's well done. Again, just leaves in a good spot. The uphill little pitch. A little lucky off the tee shot to end yeah, up with, exactly. a, with a chance to go for it. Look at that relationship between those two. He's been keeping her calm. By her own admission, she can get really hot on the golf course, but oh, he, yes. he has been <laughs> really good with her this week, Ollie. And it's working. Of the three, position A for area. Got about 185 front, 192 to the pin. You can see that ball drawing from the word go for uh, length, but uh, up and down required out of the bunker now. And this will be downhill, little breaker. But one that, you know, you picture a little spot at the top of the hill as the hole and just let it trickle down. A little bit of work. And that one will be a left to riser, which nobody really likes. Her playing companions, Sun Wu Bay, even par for the day. Sandra Gall, one under par for the day. A joint leader on the tee at six. Not wanting to bite off too much. You can run out of fairway, or you can just plop it right in the middle. She's only missed five fairways yeah. all week long so far. That's impressive.
anybody who can walk away from six with a par, par's a good score on this hole because a lot can go wrong, especially off the tee if you try and do too much with it and leave yourself a really awkward second. Minji, her tee shot. And they're with the driver. That's going to pull up. The good thing is there, if it doesn't come in too hot, it is uphill you're hitting into. So it does tend to pull them up. You just don't want to get them running through the other side into long grass because uh, the second shot becomes tough. Let's jump ahead to nine. And one of the hot players on the golf course, Jin Young Ko. 30 feet, perhaps a little bit more for birdie. She's giving them all a chance of going in. She looks very comfortable over, over her putts. The putter sits nicely in her hands, her arms hang softly. I think she's one of those players, Dub. She looks comfortable full stop on the golf course. <laughs> yes. Bunker shot at the fifth four area. This is her third shot on the par five. It's going to have to work a little hard to put a birdie on the card, and she'll be really disappointed with that if she can't make birdie here because it was very, very reachable for her. Area's best finish here has been, in recent years, a tie for 13th back in 2016. The best final round in that period has been a 69. That was in 2016. Might nearly need more than that today, although she's got a share of the lead at the moment, and she's already picked up a couple. By the end of the day, she may very well be able to displace Sung Hyun Park in the world number one ranking, depending on where she finishes. If she does win, she'll take over the world number one ranking. And then, depending on positions, it will also depend on where Sung Hyun finishes to see whether that ranking changes. Say on you and Inby Park at three and four. Lexi's here this week. We're going to move ahead now and pick up the action later on at the KEB Hannah Bank Championship, part of the LPGA's Swing Through Asia on Golf Channel. Still has a little bit of room to work with, although the pins at the front, it's further towards the left-hand side, that gives you a good indication. A little ridge that she's got to come up and over. See the ball, it seems to be laying okay. And she's aiming this well right at the flag to use the slope. I think that was a good gamble for her, paying off on the tee shot. She bailed out to the place where she had to miss it. If you go left of that flag, the up and down is a lot tougher. And in all fairness, I'm not sure she could have got much closer from the fairway than the pitch. So I think it was a good, good gamble for her. Danielle Kang, four birdie, coming up shy out of the rough. Oh, it's got a bit of pace on this as well. Just that little nasty length, but she shouldn't have too much trouble with that. She knows she has to make birdies though at minus 11, four out of the lead. And more disappointingly, she, she's over par for the day such good rounds of 67 69 68 today's will not match that i think it's been a bit of a sort of a culture shock for a lot of these players and you know certainly for these players in this group because they've been playing with massive galleries for the first three days and today they have just a sprinkling of people watching because everybody's up ahead watching Inji and Sunjin Park, quite rightly so too, as Area's Birdie Park just slides by. And that's been the story of her last couple of days, really. Just even par for the round so far. They better enjoy the quiet stuffs because by the time they get to 18 and everybody else is around up there, then they're in for a shock when they get there because they've been 
keeping their own counsel in lots of ways throughout <laughs> the day. But that's going to change when they arrive at that spectacular finishing hole. It's a place I'll uh, experience very shortly, Pete. Mm. Head down for the presentation. But Charlie Hull, four birdie now. This to just close the gap to one. Oh, it looked good halfway. Just died off with lack of pace. The birdie there would have been good, knowing that she's a real chance of making a birdie up the next hole. Danielle, after a pretty handy first putt, Four shots back, something is going to have to happen, not only in her favour, but against the three who are in front of her on the leaderboard, in particular Inji Chun. And the same scenario applies to area. What happens on this? 15th hole will be quite instrumental, I think, on what is going to be the end result. Speaking of 15, Minji Lee knowing that she's probably got to get to the stage now where she's chipping in for Eagle if she's going to win the trophy, and she gave it the good college try. Karen, I like the way Minji's held it together today. You said she's been able to mm. put the badge stuff behind her. She started well with that birdie, but then she went through a patch early on, which would have been easy to succumb to. Well, and it, and really, what what you see from Minji is is the exact opposite of what you see, what we've been seeing from Area and from Sung Hyung Park. You know, Minji, you know, it's accepting of the fact that she maybe doesn't quite have her best stuff, but she's trying to make the most of it. Whereas the other two are just fighting, fighting themselves and fighting their golf. This to stretch the lead. She's got the look of a winner about her right now. Every time she's made a choice of club that might have raised some eyebrows, she's been justified. After two tremendous shots on 16, Sun Hyun Park with a chance to go to 11 under par. 12 under par, she's currently 11. Nothing has dropped for her. She's had a lot of putts that have shaved the hole. And you just have those days where they just don't go. She's not really been in the greatest frame of mind around here today. Danielle Kang at 15. Hope springs eternal, but she's in a position now where she's going to need the equivalent of a golfing miracle but if she can get this in who knows but that is a big if lovely touch see just how quick that is from where Danielle was coming from she should be able to pick up her birdie here. That'll take her into fourth place on her own at minus 12 for the moment. Nasa for a final birdie for a tremendous final round. And again, momentum, you know, that's a good final round for her after two very indifferent rounds in the middle. Did not hit the ball that well, but today hit it slightly better. And again, she can take that moment momentum into Shanghai next week. Good start, good finish, as Karen said, not so great in the middle, but still eighth position for Nasa Hatayoka.
So this needs to go in. And it's just not been her day. Looked like it might be with a birdie birdie start. But it's been such a struggle. We rarely see area struggle as much as she had today after that second hole. Her mind's been racing today. You can see it. Everything's just overtaken her a little bit too much. She hasn't been able to stay in her little bubble, in her own little world, and stay with the process and play the shots that she knows she can play. And speaking of players whose mind has overtaken them. Very much so, isn't it? Son Hyun Park. Just so much talent, but uh, seems to be fighting herself more than anything else, especially during this final round. Three, 17th plan, 157 yards today. Pretty accessible pin, 15 on and three from the right hand side. Gives him a little bit of movement. Area. Rolls in a birdie putt. So that does get her to minus 12. Too little, too late. You expect to see a lot more birdies on that card. She can only control her own destiny, Charlie Hull. She can't do anything about what Inji is doing. And if Inji's going to hold the trophy up at the end of the day, that's due to her good play. So Charlie needs to worry about herself. And this is the first step in that. Done what she's got to do. 14 under, two back. Still made five birdies today, which is very good, but uh, those three bogeys on the card have not helped her at all. The 16th hole, Minji from pretty perfect position on the fairway. Little high draw into this left hole location. There's not much room over that bunker. Oh. She was just pushing, pushing that line. A yard to the right. She could have been pretty close. Just a short part for Danielle Kang for her birdie on 15 after coming from the back when she hit driver here and was pretty hot, had a lot on it. So this was a pretty good result coming down the hill, but she just needs to finish this off. Take it to minus 12. world ranking points up for grabs lots of cash up for grabs in the run down the stretch even if the victory is out of her grasp now from the left rough at 16 what can Inji come up with anything on the green from there was a pretty good result but it's still a long long way from the objective that is three putt territory She's not had a three putt yet this week. Gets out that out of the, that rough safely, gets it onto the green, but like just a little bit more on it just to run it to maybe up to pin high. Let's see how far back she is there. First quarter of the green pin, very long green this 16th. So her lead has been reduced to two by Charlie Hull's birdie at the 15th hole. This one not in the book just yet in the final round.
Sonium Park, 17th, playing 148 yards today. And with a nine iron, I think this is a good club for her. I like the fact that she didn't fall back on that shot. on the faces of player and caddy tells the tale tough day at the office she marks herself really highly only a win was going to satisfy her today and she's going to come up short in that regard not a lot of room for minji get over the rough and it does not she just needed to get this on the fringe or just on the very edge and let it run out but uh, got caught up in that thick rough so be a little bit of a struggle here for Minji to make a pass. She'll have to chip that one in. Just sitting one ahead of both Daniel Kang and Eric Jutanagan. One of those days for the former world number one. Jutanagan on the tee at 16. Four shots adrift. Again, knowing she's gone down the left hand side, but not being able to see where it finishes, and also the awkward side to come into this back left pin. Look at the difference in the gallery there at 16. That's the point you were making before stops. Well, and, and really, when they teed off, it almost felt like this final group was a bit of an afterthought. Yeah. Which could have been a good thing for them. Could have gone the other way. It certainly doesn't seem to have affected Charlie. She's two under for the day. Her demeanor, the way she's conducted herself, and her golf has been so admirable this week. She likes that spot. It was yesterday, wasn't it? She was in there. Been popular, that drain. Now, this is huge. Incredibly important putt. Long range needs two putts from here for our leader, Inji Chun. Spectacular. That is very, very good. That's brilliant. Oh, to give that a chance of going in from there. That has just brought the heart rate down about 10 beats per minute. Every single time, and there haven't been too many times today where the question has been proposed, she's had the answer. Ideally, Danielle would like to get this down there. Right side of the fairway. Swing deep. Not bad. The further right you go, the better the chances are that you can get to that left flag. I think both Aria and Charlie are going to have issues from the left side. Fourth shot for Minji Lee after getting tangled up here coming out of the bunker. Oh. This hole may prove very, very costly for Minji. She's alone in third place at the moment, but she's well, she's got a part for bogey, but from a range. And after 
coming up short, Sunyun Park is trying to chip in for a birdie on the 17th hole. of thousands of people on this golf course at the moment but I bet she feels lonely out there mm. right now to Minji and this to drop just the one shot at 16 which would move her back into a three-way tie for third and now it's a double bogey so Danielle Kang and Eri Jutanagan leap over the top of the Australian she finds herself back with Sung Hyun Park and Jin Young Ko, who's long been in the clubhouse. It's a heartbreaking game, this, really. You know, her second shot in a couple of feet, yard further to the right, and she's up next to the flag, and instead she's walked off with double bogey, but that is the game of golf. It can be brutal. And I guess the chances were, Sandy, that it was going to happen at some stage because Minji had the attitude that I've got to be aggressive if I'm going to challenge here. And if you're going to be playing aggressive golf, those sort of things can happen to you. Especially around a golf course like this. The other end of the scale coming out of the same bunker. Lydia has this putt for her par. That's well done. Plus two for the day, not the day she was after, might have given herself a little chance of victory at the start of the day. She's coming out in the second last group. And here's the last group on the golf course. We can safely say now that we're down to two and here's one of them. So you get nearest point of relief, not near the hole, and then one club length from that point. They do their sums. The leader arrives at the second last hole with many thousands of her countrymen and women watching her every move. Probably quite a few of them who were there to watch Sung Hyung Park now staying where they are to watch the champion in waiting. This part of the golf course that's going to happen because that path behind them is just a few feet wide.
bit more breeze popping up in those trees than we seem to have had most of today. It's been a beautiful day for golf. golf a little bit you, you talked about Karen the need to keep on playing aggressively is mm. she now with two holes to play yep. she goes back into preservation mode absolutely there was no need to to really take on that flag with missing right the up and down would be tough they seem to have decided on a seven iron here for Danielle Kang into 16 Ooh, okay that is the bunker that Minji Lee was in Sandy, I think it might nearly be time to let you head down to the presentation area because of those thousands of people that are around where we are. And uh, as we always say at this time every year, good luck. Thank you very much, Pete. It might take me a while. I'll be talking to you. Second shot for area at the 16th. Oh. And a beauty. Hang on. That's tremendous to attack that flag on that line just shows how, how powerful she is. Charlie's taken the drop away from the drain, so she's not aware of what's going on in front of her. It's going to take something special from her and something of a faltering nature from Inji. And it just looked like where she dropped it in that first cut, it was kind of sitting down just a bit. And, and that's where everybody walks off the green. Awkward little pitch for Charlie. She's been a little heavy handed all day with those little shots. But there was nothing easy really about that because of the way the grass was growing into her. She had to give it a bit more of a hit. We return to 18 and Brooke Henderson. Her birdie putt to finish. She made a magnificent charge yesterday. Hasn't quite eventuated along the same lines today. That was for a 70. The Canadian then finishing tied 14th at six under. a wonderful shot in here area again the parts just leaving her wanting it's been the story of her week we marveled at her iron play for most of the week but then even that today just let her down she looked as though she's had a lot on her mind at various stages today we're in contention for a big golf tournament i guess that comes with the territory well, she's been there and done it many times. And I think I think she felt like she just didn't have it. She was talking about working on some swings on the range. And that's unusual for her to say. Forty five feet for Minji Lee for a two. Look at this. Oh. That would have been worth a few bucks. My biggest thing is when you're standing on that first tee of the final round of a tournament, you've got to know that your game's good enough to win. You've got to feel it in your heart. Otherwise, you stand on the golf course and you hope that you manage to find something. And that's no way to play golf. Charlie Hull's chances of snatching victory at the last moment largely depend on this putt. She's been standing tall all week, the 22-year-old from England. 
this has to go in though and she's just got to hope that Inchi does something disastrous in the final hole so now there's almost room to enjoy the walk Inchi may or may not be aware of that when she stands on the 18th tee in a moment you'd almost guarantee that she'll have a two putt from where she is Charlie drops back to 13 under, but she's still got outright second place as we sit right now. I don't see two putts being too much of an issue here for Inji. She's maintained the same routine, that same little relaxing breath before she walks into the ball. she has to do. <laughs> Little sip of water just to uh, yeah. that ev everybody's mouth gets a bit dry can understand why because mm. maybe she's just starting to think a little bit about what's around the corner what's going to happen to her in the next hour par saving putt for Danielle Kang after putting her second shot in the trap beside the green here at 16 uh, went through that really tough patch at six and seven and let a bit of steam out She's still going to have a great finish. This putt then effectively to send her to the 72nd hole with a three shot cushion. last shot now for Sung Hyun Park second shot she can get there looking to give the crowd something to really cheer about to play for area 133 front hole location 15 paces on and just three from that right hand side all the putts important from here on in second place is still a possibility for area when you consider the day she's had Karen that's a testament to her ability that she's yeah, had a day that she'd rather forget and she might still finish sick well I think we're all left uh, feeling quite disappointed really because the potential is so huge with her and we just always expect great things when we see her playing golf and and uh, really the ball striking left her you know she struggled with that today and then the putting was also a bit of an issue Daniel Kang might say the same about her putter as well she's been frustrated at times by having the right line and leaving it short yeah she didn't hit that well you could see <laughs> she's like yep bad shot so here comes the lava down the hill This is where you want to be when you play golf at any course around the world. But if you can do this in front of your home nation, then that makes it all the more special. She's got a three shot cushion. This only has to hit the short grass and she can start thinking about what she might be saying in about 30 to 40 minutes time. 
Not until that puck goes down. We've seen it with Brooke Henderson this year in Canada, winning in front of her home crowd. We saw it with Georgia Hall winning the Rico Women's British Open. It's just so much more special for them. A two-week period of her life that she is never going to forget for as long as she lives. Got to get all of this one to get it there. Well, you're qualified to talk about winning a big title in front of the people that you're representing effectively. I very fortunately had a nice lead. So the walk up the 18th was was rather special. Watching everybody with the flags cheering it was uh, very special indeed did you smile or did you tear up a bit i was crying all the way up the 18th i wouldn't blame you third shot for sung hyun final hole she's got used to that massive roar following her all the way around the golf course this week and on this day in particular but it hasn't been as much as she would have liked Trying to negotiate the drive on the 18th, Minji, and she puts it on the fairway. Maybe not in go range, though. A very soft bounce. We should pay tribute to the golf course staff here at Sky 72. Because of the variations they get in the weather in this part of the world, in particular at this time of the year, the typhoon came through last week golf course is always produced in wonderful condition and it's going to acclaim a korean champion for the second year in a row by the look of things from a korean player to a german player sandra gal to finish with a birdie at the final hole not the day she was after but a nice way to finish unfortunately a 75 on sunday for Sandra and that's dropped her down a few places but she finishes in a tie for 19th. Daniel Kang after a bit of a, a bit of a heavy tee shot trying to get up and down to save her par. I think all these players that have been in contention, you know, Danielle, Area, Sun Hyun, over the course of this Asia swing, I think we'll see these players contend. And I wouldn't be at all surprised to see one one of them go ahead and win if not two the ocean swing continues next week in shanghai and it's off to taipei then osaka in japan and then hainan island off the chinese mainland charlie will have to be content with the part so in her heart of hearts, she probably knows if there's a leaderboard around to be viewed that she's now trying to sew up and lock down second place. Bay had a fairly quiet day today. But again, she can hold her head up high. It's not easy to play well and win tournaments back to back weeks. I think there'd be a good chance she'll sleep well tonight after what's happened in the last 10 days of her life. Minus 10, tied for eighth. The Thai fans have been here to add to the thousands of Korean fans, just fans of the game, really. That's what they are here.
and a little more work there than area would like it's like it just has been hard work for her today and on the 17th hole you're like I just want an easy time of it and she's made more work for herself it's been no easy time of it for this 25 year old the gaze of the nation upon her it looks as though it's weighed heavily on her at times to finish with a birdie Listen to that acclamation that she must be feeling as though it has been such a disappointing day. The only thing that would have satisfied her was a win, and yet she's shot 69. At the moment, she's tied third, but that won't be making her feel too much better right now. Area makes par. One hole to play, and she is in now. That tie for third place with Sung Hyun Park. need to check the figures Karen but I think probably that would mean that Sung Hyun will keep the number mm. one ranking over area it'll be a close thing she addressed that in the in the media about trying to maintain her world number one spot and she said honestly winning is more important I think it's a good attitude to have because one looks after the other really it does. interesting time in women's golf I mean we've, we've had moments where there have been such dominant players you know when you think back to Annika Sorenstam, Lorena Ochoa, Yanni Sang, Lydia Ko for a time there too in B Park and really at this moment there isn't one player that really stands out as a dominant player there's so, it, the tour is just so deep young woman has stood out this week though just about where she would want to have her third shot in well that's evidence Karen by the fact isn't it that the first 13 events on tour this year were won by 13 different players chance to give it everything you've got and I don't blame her really it's just been a battle for her all day can't help but think back to that tee shot at seven yep. and how important that was in the scheme of her day great setting seen a share of drama over the years but it looks like in 2018 it's going to anoint a champion that is going to be comfortable and that's a good word for it because that's the way she's looked nearly all day and pretty much all week apart from those two moments where she made a double bogey at the 10th one day and double buggy at the 11th the other day but that's just a distant memory now the crowd's ready to anoint the champion third shot final hole Colin will know, she will know. Left. And you know better than most, Karen, that you can find yourself dead there. She might be all right, but you can be absolutely stone dead in there. <laughs> She's making a face like, I don't know, did I, did I hit someone?
looking to sew up second place. Charlie Hull, what a week. Starts that down the right-hand side of the fairway. If she holds out from there, it's a long shot, I know. Congratulations,中華人民共和国国家选手，以前十八LPGA 一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個人的關係,一個
She did well to get through that because physically not her A game this week. And not the A game of Lydia Ko. Signs were there over the first three days that maybe we might be on the verge of seeing the old Lydia again. A warm hug for a good friend. She's played a lot of golf with Minji, and of course, congratulations to the champion. Karen, I keep on thinking back to 2014, which was the first year that I was lucky enough to come here and do the tournament. And everybody had told us about Inji Chun, mm -hmm. this young player coming up through the ranks. And after seeing her, she was up in the top three that year. In fact, she finished tied second that year. And you probably did the same thing. I went back home and said, just wait for this young player to come up through the ranks because she will. And I, I remember being in the Golf Channel studio covering the US Open at Lancaster Country Club where she went on to win and going into that final round I said you can't rule out Inji Chun she's ranked whatever she was at 10th in the world at the time and she is a force to be reckoned with last three players on the golf course two of them in the trap beside the 18th green. Danielle Kang, first to play, still one of the more difficult shots in golf, the long bunker shot. If she can get up and down from here, she moves to 12 under and may get herself up into a tie for third. it is boy that's a good shot nobody told her that those long bunker shots are difficult superbly executed by Danielle at the end of what's been a day that promised a lot and it tested her patience at times but nice to see that smile at the end of the day so Charlie just needs something like that well she knows what she needs to do she knows where she needs to land it just a matter of execution and if she can make birdie she'll certainly finish second this and that would take her to 14 under here, please thank you not easy it is downhill she's going to have to land this just on the edge of the green good effort so charlie will have a putt for second the camaraderie and the fellowship between these players has been really good throughout the day throughout the week when you consider the, the high stakes that are there they know each other so well local media Kristen Yoon from the LPGA I we'll find out from there. the champion firsthand with the presentation with Sandy McKenzie down there beside 18 in a moment. They take the opportunity of getting an early word and then we can make it official once the last putt's been hold. Congratulations and great job. Thank you. No wonder. No wonder. <laughs> under, 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 under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
In the world of golf, where you see the Korean players play with such poise on the golf course, they do feel it exactly the same way as everybody else. Mm, it just it's takes them a little while to show it, and then when it shows, well, that was just a lovely moment. This for second. So Charlie's going to make par at the last, which means she will be minus 13, and Aria's got a putt to join her at minus 13. Did you have a moment there, Karen? You said you were in tears when you won that British Open, but did, did you have a moment where the enormity of what you'd done just hit you and then all of a sudden it overwhelmed you? Absolutely, um, because you, you, you remember about all the sacrifices that everybody around you has made for you to be in that position it's not about what you've done it's about what everybody else has done for you to be there your mother your father sisters competing with yours but i guess for the chair because they're supporting the lpg all right so just a few instructions from kristen there to ng when the presentation officially happens and we'll hear that all happening very shortly so she's let the tears out which is probably good because hopefully it'll only be the first of 15 times that it happens for the rest of the day so here's an important part area for birdie at the final hole and to move into a tie for second with charlie hull and that sums up her week Area will finish tied third with Minji Lee and Sung Hyun Park and quite possibly Danielle Kang if she can hold this. So this is for Birdie at the final hole. And this to make it a four-way tie for third. at time 72 was always going to see her fall short in the final round on a day where birdies was what it took but a hug from ollie they've been a good combination throughout the week and now charlie ends it in 2018 by tapping in and making her par for a round of 71 and the english woman finishes in second place and she can walk away karen stupples with her head held high she can, and she can really build on what she did this week, the way she handled herself going around the golf course, the way she didn't hurry the process of choosing what club to play. The way she holed out was impressive too. That was something that she said that she wanted to do. Something Inji nearly did in front of her adoring home fans. Look how close this one was at the last. The scheme of things it didn't matter but it just would have been a nice way to finish what a popular figure she is in this part of the world congratulatory hug from lydia and then the emotion of the moment just got too much for her amazing <laughs> So at the end of what has been a fascinating week, we have a worthy champion. In Ji Chun fires 66 on Saturday, 66 on Sunday, and wins by three in Korea. Charlie Hull of England, outright second, a four-way tie for third. Korea, Australia, Thailand, and the United States. Sung Hyun Park, a disappointing day for her, even though she does finish in the tie for third. Minji Lee, Area Jutanagan, and Daniel Kang.
The defending champion did it really well on Sunday. Jin Young Ko, a 64, elevating her to seventh place. And Nasa Hataoka, the 19-year-old from Japan, with a closing 67, gets herself up into a tie for eighth with Sun Wu Bei, the young talent from Korea, who shot a 71 in the final round. And that moved her up into that tie with Nasa Hataoka. We've seen many great shots on this final day. This was, as Karen said, as important as any that we saw when she took the club out to chip it. And that shot may have sent her on the road to victory. Interestingly enough, her coach, Juan Park, was telling me that it's something that they wanted to do was to chip it because when she putts from off the green, the ball just pops up a little bit more. So as we take a look at the leaderboard and confirm the margin of victory is three for Inji Chun. Again, Karen, we say uh, thank you to everybody here in Korea, Brenda Lee in particular from ING and all the team from JTBC for making us feel so welcome. We might not be back at this golf course next year, but gee, it's been a blast. It has. We've loved every second of it. So I hope you've enjoyed it as we look through our leaderboard at the end of what has been a sensational day. Peter Donegan on behalf of Sandy McKenzie and Karen Stupples saying thank you for joining us from the Sky 72 Ocean Course at Incheon in Korea. And well done to NG Chun, the champion in the LPGA, LPGA KEB Hunterbank Championship of 2018. We'll see you next week as the caravan rolls on to Shanghai.